Cuba Guy here with Boxer Bands Ireland and I'm here with Sean O'Keefe after a phenomenal third round stoppage win here in the McElhaney Show in Galway. Um, Sean, it looks like a big relief for you. You know, your first fight was a good learning fight, but that one there, like usually someone in their debut, they always have a knockout, like, so that's kind of like your debut knockout, like, isn't it? Yeah, 100% it is. Everyone knows that my pro debut was probably one of the hardest pro debuts that we've seen. And uh, to be honest, I don't believe I was prepared, not as much, not as prepared as I am for this one today. So uh, this is like a do-over of my pro debut. I enjoyed every single bit of it. Um, I felt at home and I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> uh, so you said you loved every part of it. Like what? Is there any specifics? Is it like the, the like you know the way in or the way the show was run or what? what is so the show was run. The show you can't. Um, the show was run absolutely brilliant. Shout out to McLeany as well for having me on it. Um, it was an honour to be on it. To have all my family here, my friends supporting, to listen to that crowd. Oh my God! Like you dream of moments like that as a professional fighter to be able to get a crowd to erupt like that. And I got it tonight. It's literally like everything that I've dreamed of and wanted in this, it all came tonight, tonight. And especially with the knockout, I believe I'm strong enough and good enough to be knocking girls clean out. And to get that tonight is, yeah, it's, you couldn't, you couldn't write it. You actually couldn't write it. I'm actually over the moon with a whole lot of it. I showed a mature performance. I listened to my corner. I did everything that Kevin wanted me to. And most importantly, I absolutely loved every minute of it. Yeah, and, uh, like you say that. Listen to your corner. Like you, you dropped in the first round, but you didn't. Um, you didn't lose your head or get too excited or anything like that. Was that from instructions from the corner? Was it? Yeah, the key thing with Kevin is to listen and just it's maturity as well. I don't need to be jumping jumping around like a goon when I knock her to the floor. There's no point. I did after like I got the decision and said I I got the crowd going. Once she was up and she was all right, but no, I want to show maturity. I don't want to take the piss either, to be honest with you. And Kevin, all Kevin wanted to do was lock eyes. He gave me instructions, keep my cool, and he gave me instructions to go out and follow a plan that we we set in um, set in the the dressing room, and that's exactly what I did. And then we stalked her, stalked her, stalked her, looked for the opening, and I got it. Um, this fight here, in particular, obviously comes after you had the disappointment of one falling through so that's obviously part of boxing the ups and the downs um, has it, have you learned a lot from the pole game now like like you've only been in it a few months but you've experienced a lot of it already like with the downs of it to say the amount of setbacks I've had I'd say it would have stopped anybody on their tracks they would have just said just give it up Shona go and get a 9 to 5 job it's easier but that'd be the easy option I'm like no I know and I believe I'm I'm good enough to become a world champion and at weight divisions not just one two maybe three you just never know in this game so yeah I think every um, setback it actually makes me stronger and it builds thicker skin for what's to come it's a good thing I had all these headaches at the very start bring them on whatever is coming I don't care I'm going to be ready for whatever is coming what do you want next I want um, uh, an eliminator for a European title and then go straight for a European title by four fight. I said it when I turned over in September. I believe I'm good enough to win a European title by fourth fight. And now that Rhiannon Dixon is, um, she's fighting for a WBO uh, next month, which when she wins, she'll vacate it. That opens up a slot. There you go, Shauna, fight for the European title. I'm ranked 19 in the world after one fight. I'll have to see what way the ranking goes there. People wanted me to move through the ranking systems, build support, and that's what I'm doing. My boxing's doing the talking. Now I'm ready for titles. Bring them all on. I'm ready for absolutely all of it. Anyone in particular, uh, or just, just, just for the European title, that's all you want? European titles start off and then we'll go from there. Well, uh, thanks very much for your time, Shauna, and hopefully we'll see you then fighting for the European title in the summer. So much. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, please, Katie Taylor-Carr, bring me home again where I belong.